I think another key thing that we're looking at is the shift in dynamic that over the last several years that we've been doing this, we knew that remote support would be something that's really offering a lot of freedom, independence, a lot of opportunities the folks that we're serving haven't otherwise had. The one thing that I can add is that even with us being here, working in this day in and day out, we have been blown away by the progress that has been made by the success of this. And success of this is judged by the response for the folks that we're serving. Their success has been far greater than we would ever have imagined. They're living happier, healthier, more successful lives. When we talk about them being integrated into their community, we're not talking about them just being able to go into the community. We're talking about them having meaningful relationships and lives. We're seeing this enhance that and make that really happen. We've found great success with remote support for the folks that we're serving. But the other thing that we've seen is great success for the providers and the family members that are involved. And that was an unintended side effect that we had, especially when we look at this day and age with staffing crisis and how difficult it is to be able to serve more people. One of the side effects that we've found is now, through the use of this service, the individuals being served have greater room in their budget for other services, so they're getting a better life. But we're also finding that the providers have relief. Now when providers have been struggling to get staff, this is some relief. Let us do those boring things in the home that we can do so that the providers can provide more services or maybe staff that are working tons of overtime don't have to do that anymore. They can go home so they can be refreshed and recharged when they come back to work. And from the county board standpoint, we've seen county boards that used to be able to send out a request for proposal and it would be immediately responded by providers. Now what we see is county boards will send out these requests again and again and again because there just aren't providers. We've found that through the use of remote support, we are alleviating some of the burden from the staffing pool and other people that aren't even using remote support are now getting services because there are now providers available. Remote support isn't affecting just the people that we're serving, it's affecting their providers, their family members, and other individuals that need service in their community as well.